CATV is proudly presented by Toyota. You mentioned uh, aggression. That was a key theme of the Ashes series, and it came with it Mitchell Johnson's pace and some sledging as well. Is that something you guys are going to employ in this one day series? No, I think. I'm sick of the sledging stuff, to be honest, mate. I think everyone's, just because you're aggressive, I don't think it needs to be, that seems to be the thing that everyone jumps towards, but there's a myriad of ways you can play cricket aggressively that doesn't have to head down that path. So, um, you know, I think we've played a lot of cricket against these guys. I think there's always stuff that's going to be said, and I wouldn't read into the fact that just because there's two blokes talking out there every time that they're actually, they're, you know, they're ripping each other's heads off either. There's, there's a lot of blokes out there who get along pretty well as well. So. There's a lot of times that you're having a joke or um, you know, talking about plenty of things. So, um, you know, the aggressive way we play, I think, is a, is a mantra that's as much about the cricket as, as opposed to anything else. With, with Mitchell Johnson's pace, do you feel you do have a, an edge there, an advantage? I, I think anyone who can bowl that quick, it gives you an advantage, you know, around the world. There's not that many blokes that can do it. Uh, I think you know, if you've got a world-class spinner, that gives you an advantage as well. So absolutely, Mitch, if Mitch is on top of his game and, and the way he plays, and I think this ground and this wicket certainly does suit him. Um, but I, mean, I think Nathan coulter Niles pace can be, can be a handful as well. So um, you know, good pace on this wicket is, is always an advantage. Um, George, James Pattinson had quite a long bowl in the nets. Is there any chance that he might come back into the team here? Uh, I'm not sure, but... From, from that, I wouldn't have thought so. You know, seeing the same thing that you have, I would imagine that um, the guys who did, the, the fast bowlers who did, did play did really well. So I, I can't see that um, those guys being left out. Three, three England players have gone home from this tour, Trot, Swan and now Finn. None, none of them are for injuries, which is quite unusual, I guess. It suggests a quite a kind of tough, brutal environment, I suppose, for the touring team. How do you, as the opposition, view, view that fact, the fact that three, three players have gone home? Uh, a little bit of pride in it, I guess, in terms of that, that we're making it so uncomfortable for, for guys, um, whether that's through form or, or fitness. Um, whether, I, I don't think they're necessarily any of them are related and it, it could just be a coincidence that, that three have happened to, to do that. But in terms of, I think, the way, the way we played and the, and the intensity and the, the media build-up of a, of a series, it's been pretty big. Um, there's no doubt there's been a lot of scrutiny. So. Um, it's, I think it is always challenging when you're a long way from home and you're, you can be away from family and, um, and away from the things you know. And, and so I guess with the shoe on the other foot, we've been in that situation before and know how challenging it is. So for us to have that advantage to be, to be at home and to be able to see our loved ones and to be in pretty comfortable surroundings, that's, um, that's probably a, a thing that's fortunate for us. Players frequently come and go because of injury, but can you recall three players leaving a tour and none of them physically injured? I can't, but my cricket knowledge is pretty ordinary, so yeah. <laughs> I don't even remember where we went last tour. <laughs> um, George, have you had much of a look at the actual wicket out there? I mean, it just looks pretty much a road, doesn't it? It yeah, just I looks dead flat. Yeah, I haven't looked at it, but I, I would imagine it's a, a very, very good one day wicket, as they all are. Um, we obviously didn't bat very well here last year, but I think historically it's a it's a great batting wicket. Um, we know that the new ball will nip around and zip around a bit, and we probably didn't sum that up quick enough last year, so that's something we've spoken about to, to make sure you give yourself a bit of extra time. But once you are in, I think it's a, it's a, a beautiful ground to bat. Um, you know, the one day, or sorry, the 2020 games that we've seen here this year tend to be pretty high scoring. Um, it can be hard to contain batters, particularly towards the back end of the inning. So, um, you know, a challenge for the guys at the top of the order, but if those guys can can get through the, the challenging times, I think they'll um, really enjoy batting there. Uh, George? There used to be able to talk about the, making the transition from test cricket to one day cricket. Is there a challenge now to make a transition from 20 over cricket to one day cricket? Guys are coming out of the big bash and you almost have to learn to build an innings in the 50 over game uh, batting differently or do you just bring the same skills? Yeah, same skills, but yeah, and I think you do have to change a little bit, no doubt about that, that you've got to, you've got to sum up the situation a little bit and, and um, and take that, but in terms of that freedom, I, I don't think you would ever curtail that. But it's just about making the right decisions at the right time. So, 2020 probably accelerates that process a little bit and forces guys to, to take calculated risks more often. Um, here, it's probably about getting yourself into a situation where you can allow the rest of the team to do that. So, that you know, means that you need your top order to still bat for a long time and, and, and soak up as many balls and build as big, bigger partnerships as you can. Oh, George, um, Darren Lehman's come out and said some very um, 
supportive things of you. I mean, looking towards the South African tour, how much do you feel you need to, you know, keep the runs coming? Oh, I think you always, I'm a batsman. That's, I always need to keep the runs coming. What is do you there say? Any, is there any additional pressure this time? To on me? Yeah. No, nah, no. Nah, there's, there's pressure because I'm playing cricket for Australia and that's, that's all the pressure you need, I reckon. Um, but it's nice that he's saying some nice things about me because he's, he normally, uh, he normally takes the mickey out of me a bit. So, <laughs> what did he say? Any? Oh, I just, uh, I forget exactly what he said, but it was. Oh. <laughs> it was <not> really? Because <laughs> you're a very valuable member of the team. Oh, good on him. Yeah, no, he's a good coach. He's a good so, is he taking the mickey out of us? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, well, that's it. Did he have a silly grin on his face? I can't tell when he's been serious or when he's joking. I've had to ask him a few times, so um, I hope he's been serious then.